Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helge Maus from Pixel Train. And for everyone who doesn't know me, I'm a 3D and visual effects trainer and artist for more than 20 years now. Today's lesson is a demo lesson from my newest publication Pixel Train Blender Fundamentals Fast Forward. This publication is a full introduction into Blender, its workflows and tools for beginners and artists from other 3D applications. So if you want to learn Blender and don't want to watch hundreds of tutorials here on YouTube and don't get the answers you are looking for, please consider this publication. You find the trailer here on my YouTube and it's a publication which is at the moment 20 hours and 150 lessons, but it's still growing with the plus content. But now let's get into the lesson. If you have any questions, please comment below. And if you like this kind of tutorials, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. But now let's get started. Have fun, your Helga Mouse. Another way of adding topology to an existing object beside of extrude is the loop cut tool or cutting your geometry. And in this lesson, we want to talk about the loop cut tool and also the offset loop cut tool. So let's get started directly here with our simple scene. I first use here this cubic shape and to find the loop cut tool, you go here into your quick bar menu and here is the loop cut tool. If you are using the loop cut tool from here, from the quick tools, you will see that the behavior is a little bit different than the hotkeys. So I will split this lesson into two parts. I want first to show you the basic understanding of the loop cut tool and then we talk about the hotkey. So let's get started with this interactive tool. If you're hovering now with your mouse over an edge, you will see that you get this yellow outline as an indicator where the cut happens. The loop cut tool always cuts around an object and the big advantage of doing that is that if you have, for example, now quads here around your object, the result is also quads, which is absolutely what we want in most cases. So the loop cut tool is one of the most important tools here, but there are different other tools like, for example, bisect tool or the knife tool and so on. We will talk about these later. If you now want to set a cut here, what you can do is you click with the left mouse button and the cut is done. And you will see that in our just last operation menu, we have now some options. Let's talk about them briefly and then we test them in different circumstances. The first thing you maybe want to do is you don't want to have the cut exactly in the middle and that's the factor. The factor goes between minus one and plus one and zero means exactly the middle of the edge which you have selected. So if you go to negative one, you go in one direction and the positive one goes in the other direction. And like I've said, zero is exactly in the middle. You also can change the amount or the number of cuts. So if we need more than one cut, you can do that here. And the cool thing is this here will divide the edge equally. So you have equal chunks here everywhere. And if you don't want to have them straight here, you can change now the smoothness. And with the smoothness, you can bring them in or out. You see, you get a nice form like this here. And if you try to model something like that here with the extrudes, you know how cool this function is. The fall of itself is also something you can change. There are some presets here. So a more spherical shape or a smooth shape or even a linear shape is possible play a little bit with these here if you want to get a little bit the grip of them. Let's now talk about the loop cut and slide part because at the moment we started in the middle of the cut. So what you also can do with the tool is instead of clicking and then changing everything inside of the last operation menu, you can hover over an edge, hold down your left mouse button and now you can move yourself. So we are directly in the slide mode here and we can release now where we want to have it and then we can change the values if you like. You have seen the clamp function before, so that's exactly what it's doing here. So clamping is quite important if you really want to stop your loop somewhere. But what if your edge is not equal around the loop cut? Something like that here. Let's test it here now. Now I want to make a loop cut here and I go over this edge and now you see, hmm, it looks a little bit different. Let's click and move your mouse. And you see that while I'm moving with my mouse up and down, 
the loop cut itself is now averaged out between these two edges. And this is not always useful. Sometimes it's useful, but not always. So let's release the mouse and talk about the even option here. The normal behavior is averaging. But what you can do is you can say, no, I want to have it even. And what happens now in our case is that we get a horizontal cut. The horizontal cut here is due to the fact that the bottom edge loop, which we have, so the neighboring edge loop is horizontal. And so this is now the reference for it. And if I now go here to the factor, you see it tries to hold the whole thing. And if you go over this point, you see then the loop cut is adjusting. But in most cases, it's now horizontal like the bottom part here. But what if you want to have that here? For this, even is still on, I also add flipped. So with the flip, you can change or flip around which is your reference loop. And now you see the behavior is now different. So even and flipped are something which I use a lot. Let's keep these two options in mind. And that's all about this here. So let's talk now, I go out here, about our shortcut way of doing it. You will see it's a little bit different. So first make sure that you are in another tool. So I'm going into the select box here. Now I want to make another loop cut. For this, we use the keyboard shortcut Control R. And now you see we hover again over an edge, but this time, if you now click with your mouse, you are directly in the slide mode. So it's a little bit different. You see the slide here on the top where you are, and you also can type it in if you want. And you also see now our options, which you learned. So even, flipped, clamp, everything is here. And if you are now finished, you can click with the left mouse button. But if you now decide, okay, I don't want to have the cut here, I want to have the cut exactly in the middle, then you now cancel the slide operation with the right mouse button. So now it's back here in the middle and that's it. And you will see that's quite fast. So let's also try the same thing here with the even function. So I go back in here, control R, I go over that. And by the way, if you need more than one cut, before you click, you can use your mouse wheel. And now you see you get more or less cuts here. So the mouse wheel before you click. If you now click, you are now in the slide mode. So the cut is done. And now we see, okay, I want to have it even. So I press the E key on my keyboard. Now you see it's taking the edge below. And you also see this with a little dot here. We have the yellow edge, which says, okay, this is the reference edge. And the little yellow or orange dot says, okay, this is the reference point. And if you press the F key, you see the edge is still there, but now the point is here at the top. So that's the idea behind that. And then you click and you have all the options which you can then use again. So now you see how useful this tool here is. There is another tool in this toolbar here, which is behind the look cut tool, which is the offset edge loop tool. And this is something I have to confess I don't use a lot because I bevel most of the time these edges, but I want to show it to you. So what does the offset edge loop do? First things first, you have to select your loop. So alt click if you haven't selected it. So we have now this loop here. Then we go to this offset edge loop tool. I click and drag. And now you see I drag here to the bottom. And now you see I split this existing loop here in two. And the question maybe is, why are you doing that? What's the point behind that? The idea is that you hold an edge. So if you are later looking into subdivision modeling, you will see that we really often have to make more loops at some points to hold this edge. And that's exactly the function. You need neighboring loops here. You see the options are not so much. We have even flipped again. We have a factor and we have cap endpoint. So it's really easy. And like I've said, I go out here, go back, and I show you the same thing now with the keyboard shortcut. I have to go a little bit more back because the edge was splitted. That's dangerous. Okay, we are in. 
now the loop works again. So that's the indicator that I have done it correctly. You have to undo until you are really come to the point where this here is only one loop. And if you now want to use the offset edge slide tool with the keyboard shortcut, it's shift control R. So control R is the loop cut tool. Shift control R is the offset edge slide tool. So shift control R and then you drag and now you see you split it this edge here again with all the options and left mouse button click to stop the operation here. So that's it. Like promised, I also show you another way. So if we have this edge loop and you want to split this edge, what you also can do is control B, which is bevel. So we talked about that a lesson before. If you bevel this edge, you now see it looks like this. If we want to have an edge in the middle, use your mouse wheel while you are dragging here, one up, so you add one segment more, and then you click, and now you have achieved the same thing with the bevel tool.